Good evening. We're starting with some breaking news tonight. Republican Debbie Lesko has won the special election in Arizona's 8th Congressional District, keeping that U.S. House seat in GOP control. And although Trump's name isn't on the ballot, the vote was widely viewed as a signal of whether Republicans should start worrying come November. Team 12's political insider Bram Resnick joins us live from Peoria tonight with what this win could mean, especially since it was so close. Bram? Yeah, Debbie Lesko is leading by just six points in a district Donald Trump won by 21 two years ago. Lesko's supporters say a win is a win, but even Lesko's good friend, former Governor Jan Brewer, says this win is a warning to Republicans across the country. The special election was viewed nationwide as a vote on President Trump and Republican policies. Longtime state lawmaker Lesko was up against Democrat Hiro Tipperneni, a doctor running for office for the very first time. And despite a 20 point advantage for Republican voters here, Tipperneni kept the race close. Let's listen to Tipperneni at a party for supporters where she refused to concede. Then Lesko speaking emotionally at her victory party. People ask, like, are you going to be a sacrificial lamb? You're just doing this to make a statement, you know, or you're doing something because, you know, sounds like, no, we're doing this because it's important. The district needs a voice, and I believe there are people who are ready to have that new voice. 25 years ago, I left an abusive husband, and I sure as heck never would have dreamt in a million years that I would be running for Congress and be a Congresswoman. Hero Tipper Nini would need to win about two thirds of the re remaining votes to overtake Debbie Lesko. That is very unlikely to happen. All the votes should be counted by the end of this week. Live in Peoria, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thanks.